back in 1908, my grandfather, Mark Antonio Micosi, made his way to the United States from Grisolia, Italy. And with him, he brought the traditions that he grew up with of having a garden grown his own grapes for his homemade wine and making pasta. As a child, I learned firsthand about good food, good family, good friends, and good times. So today, I'm going to bring back that tradition and show you how to make my version of Italian meat sauce. Are you ready to cook? Let's go! Okay, let's get started. In a Dutch oven or a pot, you want to Turn on the heat on a medium-high heat, add in a couple tablespoons of good olive oil. Let that heat up for a minute, and then we're going to add what they call the trifecta. One medium chopped onion, one large chopped carrot, and one medium chopped sweet bell pepper. You're going to stir that around and let that saute over medium high heat. Give it about oh five or ten minutes. Let those onions and other veggies caramelize. Bring us out the sweetness. I like to give my veggies and when I, we add the meat a shot of salt and pepper. Now that that's been sauteing for a bit, looking pretty good and smelling great. This is where you like to add in a couple clo cloves of minced garlic. You know, there's some odd ingredients in this sauce, but one thing we can't leave out if you're Italian is some chopped garlic. Oh, that smells good. Now, we'll take a pound of ground beef, and again, you can use a combination of a quarter pound of pork and three quarter pounds of ground meat, ground beef, or you can use half and half. Just crumple that in there. And we'll stir that around until it's nice and brown. So we're going to move on and add one of the secret ingredients. An envelope of Lipton Onion Soup Mix. Give that a good stir. And the next secret ingredient, and I know you're going to think I'm crazy, but you're going to want to try this. Woo! Does that smell good? I just feel like diving in face first. Having my way with that. You're going to add in a can of V8 vegetable juice. That's right. Call me crazy, but give it a try. Because you're going to love this sauce. Then you want to add in whatever jarred marinara sauce that you like. One jar of that. And what I do is, of course, the old-fashioned way of adding a little water to that jar. Getting out the rest of the sauce. Shaking that around. Add in a little bit of water. Give that a stir. And to that, you're going to add a 28 ounce can of stewed tomatoes. San Marzano tomatoes. In this case, I had some fresh San Marzano tomatoes that I jarred from last summer. And that's what I'm using. You can see how beautiful those look. You can cut them up if you want, or just let them cook. You can kind of mash them up later on after they kind of cook down. Now, as that's cooking, you can kind of smash those whole tomatoes down. You can see how delicious and thick and meaty. That's the kind of sauce you like. You've got to try this one. I convinced my 80 plus year old Italian aunt to give this a try. And now it's her favorite sauce. It'll be yours too if you just give it a try. 
Then what I like to do then is add in a couple of bay leaves and a sprinkle of Italian seasoning over the top. Just a bit. Now, we're gonna let that cook for a little while, at least 20 minutes, half an hour. And we'll add in our final secret ingredient. And as it's getting done, you wanna add in the last secret ingredient. This takes the place, some people use red wine and some people use a little bit of sugar. This is the substitute for this and makes this sauce just taste great. A half a cup of grape jelly, or in this case, grape jam. You might think I'm crazy, but you gotta give it a try. Now let's sprinkle over a little bit of Parmesan. Doesn't that look just delicious? Thick and meaty. Oh, I can't wait to it's dig in. It's time to give this a try. Gosh, does that look good. Man, that is so delicious. It's meaty, has a great taste. I hope you'll give this a try. You won't be frightened off by any of the different ingredients in it because it is a great tasting meat sauce. Thanks for coming to the kitchen. Cheers to good food, good food, good family, and good friends. Flavor Flex. Good food, good mood.